Hey everybody, this is Noah with Learn Meta Analysis, and today I want to show you how to use Rayan to help you screen your studies. Now, Rayan is a pretty well known software program that is out there, or web based program that is off, out there, and it is paid. It has a free tier, but it's also got some paid tiers. I will say, I do not pay for anything, hardly ever. If you watch the channel, you know that. So I use the free tier, but I do not use it as they'd probably want you to use it, right? So what I'm, what do I mean by that? Rayan is built so that you can essentially do your entire screening process using their software. I don't do that because I don't wanna pay for it. And the main thing that I like about Rayan is that it helps you create labels that are quick and easy to navigate and sort by, generally speaking. So I actually use Rayan for my full text screening phase, but not in the way that they would necessarily want you to, or not in the way that you'd think. So. Let me walk you through my process of how I actually use Rayan in practice, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I would sign up for an account, but I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna log in. Okay, once I'm logged in, I have my example here, but I'm gonna actually uh, upload a new one instead so we can start from scratch. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to create new review. Uh, I'm gonna call this example two review type. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna click systematic review, review domain, I'm just gonna say, you know what, I'm even gonna change this to not applicable. They don't need to know what I'm doing. Um, description, I'm just gonna put example two. Now I'm gonna do create new review. Oh, I need to upload my article. So I'm gonna click on select files. This opened up on my other screen, but what I need is actually my export from Zotero. So before we hit select files, let me show you how to do that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Zotero and I have this really, really nice uh, folder here. It's got about 37 different studies in it. We're gonna pretend that these are all studies that met the inclusion of a review. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna to go to File. I'm gonna to go to Export Library. I like to use RIS format. I turn off Notes and Files and I click OK. And then that's gonna ask me where to save it. So I've got that saved on my desktop already. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click Select Files here on Rayanne and I'm just gonna grab that database. You can see it reads it in right here. So I'm gonna click Continue. It uploads it, I'm gonna click continue. And now I don't wanna invite anybody, so I'm just gonna click skip. So it brings us to this page. It says it brought in all 37 of my references and that is wonderful. So the first thing that, I'm, that I do, and like I said, I don't use this in the way that they probably want you to use this. I use this for my full text screening, but I do not use the full text screening button because that wants you to upload all your papers and I'm not doing that. I don't wanna take the time to find each individual study and then actually upload the full text. So where I do have the full text is saved on my personal computer or on my Google Drive or something like that. So what I will use this for is, for me, all of these are accepted studies or studies that have at least have made it to the full text screening phase, right? Some may still get rejected, but a good number are going to be included. But what I know is that every single one of these got past phase one screening and I need to look at the full text. So I have all the full text downloaded on my computer and I use this as an organizational structure. Now, the very first thing that I do, I find it really annoying having these words lit up on the screen and stuff. That's because of this keywords over here on the right. So the first thing that I do is I click on select all and then I click on this little trash can and I say, get rid of all that stuff because I don't wanna look at it. I do the same thing for keywords to exclude. I click select all and I select delete. Hmm. And it didn't do it, so I'm gonna do it again. I don't know why I had to do it twice, but you know now it's gone and I can read this and not have any issue. So here's what I would do in real life. I have all of these, I need to look at the full text. I'm gonna start here. This is my first one. I would open this PDF up on my computer and I would make my decision. Is this going to be included or excluded? So here's another way that I use this that is probably not the way it was intended. Right, so, but this is the way that I've used this as a workaround. So down here, when I look at this, it says exclude with reasons. These are not generally helpful for me as my reasons for excluding. I mean, sometimes something's in a foreign language and that's fine, but typically I don't have like wrong outcome, wrong population. All this is useless to me, generally speaking. So I just close that and I ignore it, but I do need to record why studies are excluded, right? And so what I do is I use these labels here because with the labels, you can put absolutely anything you want. So this first one, if I was doing a meta-analysis, this would be excluded because this is a review. So I would just type in review, click that button to apply it, and then I'd hit exclude. And so you see how over here, it's got this uh, 
label and it's got the decision, we're going to circle back to that. We're going to go through a couple more examples. So this one is also a review, so I'm going to exclude it and label it review. This one I'll just say include, this one I'll say include, this one I'll say include, and this one I'll say exclude. Um, however, I forgot to include a label, so I got to go back to it and I'm going to put a different label and say did not measure learning, and I want to apply that. Okay, now we're here, and I'm going to say the same thing. And again, this is just an example, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm just burning through these so I can get to the point. I'm, I'm, I don't know that these studies would actually be included or excluded. So the point that I'm trying to make here, we have our included things, but we also have excluded things. When we look here, we can see the overall numbers, but this doesn't necessarily tell us how many there are based on the labels, right? So how do we do that? Because we need to know. Well, over here on the right, you see where it's got labels? This is where it tells us how many there were. And this is the main reason that I like using Rayan for my full text screening is because if I go through 200 some studies and I'm very careful with my labels for why things were excluded, then I can just go over here and count how many studies were excluded for what reasons. And this saves me so much time as compared to like if I had done this in Excel, which is what I used to do, then I would have to count the number of cells and you know that's still pretty fast, but I found this to be much faster. So that is how I use Rayan. Like I said, it's not at all probably how they want you to use it. As you can see, it's really set up for doing like the full screening process, but I don't use it for that. I find it all these tools, to be honest, I find them all to be too time consuming to use in the way they want you to use it. I don't want to have to download all my PDFs and then upload them one by one back into the studies. Like, I just don't want to do that. And I don't know for sure that's the way it works. I've never actually tried it. So I guess we can do that now. Let's see. So add articles. So we're going to try this now and see. Yeah, see, so like when I get here, I am not uploading these all individually. That would take so long. I mean, if you guys have gone through the systematic review and meta-analysis meta process, you've downloaded all of those articles individually before, and you know how long it takes to download it. Can you imagine if you downloaded it and then had to go through and re-upload them one by one into the correct file? Like, I feel like that would just take forever, and I do not have the patience to do that. I know this works that way. There's a number of other softwares that work that way. So the way that I am currently doing this right now, I use AS Review as my first screening step because I find it's very quick and easy to use. I like that it's free and it's just, I, I really enjoy using it. Then once I have my accepted studies from AS Review, I import that database of accepted studies here into Rayan and I use the labels, the include, exclude, and the labels in order to make my decisions. And the re main reason I do that is because it compiles all of my numbers here for me for how many were ex excluded for what reasons, and I can click here to see how many were excluded very, very quickly. So this is the process that I've used. It's definitely probably not the way that they would want you to use it, but I don't wanna pay for things. I don't like paying for things. And I like to do things in a way that I find is the fastest and most efficient and the most organized. And for me, this is what's been the fastest and the most efficient and the most organized. So I hope this has helped you guys with understanding how I go through using Rayanne for full text screening. Like I said, I'm not using the full text screening button. I'm just using the screening button. <laughs> and like I'm, I'm using it very simply the, literally the only reason I use this is because it has include, exclude, and labels. That's it. I just find it easier and faster than doing this in Excel where I would have to count later. And pretty much the only thing that's faster about this to me is I don't like counting in Excel. So I like that it compiles it here. If I wanted to narrow it down, I can just click this and then I go here and uh, these were the reasons things were excluded. If I wanted to find the articles that were excluded, you can use these filters in order to narrow it down. So like that's a really nice feature. It saves some time compared to using Excel or something like that. So if this was helpful, please like and subscribe to help support the channel. And I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Thanks a bunch and I'll see you in the next video.